I'm going to spend the entire video standing up the handles, aren't I? So if you haven't got it from the title, the thumbnail or the bag sat in front of me, today we're talking about the Lady Dior. I have four different sizes that I want to compare and a lot of people ask me which one would I buy? Well, I'm going to tell you. I don't have favourites apart from the large. Anyway, so yes, I have four different sizes. Strictly speaking, some people say there are five. Some people say there is a micro size. Other people refer to some of the micros as minis. Uh, the micro is slightly smaller than the mini, which I have in pink down here. It doesn't come in this leather like the mini. It tends to come in the micro cannage, unsurprisingly. And there currently isn't a micro for sale on the Dior website. I have heard they've been discontinued, but it's a Lady Dior, it may be back at any point. But coming on to the bags we will compare today, we have the large, which I bought back in February, and this is my favourite of the four sizes, which I wasn't going to tell you till later on, but I can't help it, it is my favourite. I absolutely love it and we'll cover why today. We also have the medium, which is beautiful. This is also known as the classic. This is what most people think about when they think about the Lady Dior. We have the My Lady Dior, or the My ABC Lady Dior, as it's currently known. It is also sometimes known as the Small. And then we have the Mini, which is just freaking cute. <laughs> so yes, these are the four sizes. Some people think that the Mini is a new addition, but if you look back at pictures of Princess Diana in 1996 at the Met Gala, you'll see her carrying a beautiful midnight blue version. Just FYI. <laughs> I like to geek out when it comes to the Lady Dior. So these are the four sizes that I own and as I said this is my favourite, this is also the most used, this will be the most used very very soon, otherwise I use the Mini Lady Dior loads, I actually come up with occasions to use it, uh, I've only just purchased literally within a month uh, my My ABC Lady Dior and then I've had the medium for a long time. A few obvious things about the bag, all of them have the same shape top handles, they all have the beautiful charm, all of the bags that I've purchased are in lambskin and they have the traditional cannage pattern and they all have feet on the underside as well, which are beautiful. And I always think it's a good sign when even the mini bag has little feet on the bottom. All four of them also have crossbody straps and we're going to go into a little bit more depth on all these things just now. But first of all, let's cover two things that are very, very annoying about the Lady Dior because they will annoy me throughout the video. So I'm just owning it before we start. Firstly, these handles don't stay up. They fall over all the time. And they do make a very nice kind of ASMR sounding noise, but it's very annoying. Secondly, the little charm, as cute as it is, I spend most of my life arranging these charms so that they are visible. Do you know what, I'm saying this right now, and this is the first time ever, thank you, that I was gonna say they're all perfectly neat, but I think the charm's so beautiful. The charm itself is supposedly, some people say it's based on the fact that Christian Dior was into horoscopes and was superstitious, so this is a lucky charm. Other people say that this is Dior's way of signing the bag. I personally think that maybe both of those things are actually just the stories they tell us to justify their ridiculous prices, but I like the stories because I like to tell them to other people. <laughs> like right now. And when I went to the Dior exhibit with Dior a couple of years ago, quite a few of these things they actually went through about Dior. And it was just really nice. I love a little bit of history in the bag. And that's one of the reasons that I like the classic Dior pieces because you have so many features to them. What I do like about the charm though is that each of the letters are hand-shaped, which I just think is very lovely. All the charms are roughly the same size. These three are the same size. The charm on the mini is slightly smaller. The handles, these are beautiful. Now the handles on the large and the medium have exactly the same drop and these are very comfortable carried in the hand or in the crook of your arm. That's what I'm talking about with the handles. My ABC Lady Dior, I'm not thinking this will fit in the crook of my arm but let's try. So whilst it does fit it's not the most comfortable and it doesn't look the best but I'm sure some people could quite comfortably carry it this way. I on the other hand would find that my hand turned the same colour as my bag. And the mini that's obviously not going to fit in the crook of your arm. I don't know why I'm even trying it. I think it's because this channel, I make it for my own amusement. Ta-da! Pointless. The Lady Dior was originally designed to be carried by the top handle, and that is quite obvious when you look at the medium. <laughs> 
Uh, the medium is actually out of all of these bags, all of these bags do come with a crossbody strap. This is by far the worst one to carry crossbody and it's nothing to do with its strap. The strap itself is actually one of the better ones because it has a very variable strap length, it has um, a normal buckle so you can move it through quite a few different settings. But the actual shape of the bag does not lend it to being crossbody. And it's actually less comfortable as a crossbody than even a bag as large as the large. Because if you look at the side profile, and I'll put all of the bags side by side to show you. This is by far the most A-line, so it has an almost A shape coming down. Whereas the other bags are a little bit more boxy. And that means that this feels quite bulky and it lies on you at an angle, which isn't ideal. So it's not the most comfortable crossbody. I also feel like it's the one most likely to get wear on the back of it if you wear it crossbody because of the way the pressure goes against your body. Even though the large is also an A-line bag, because of its length, um, even if you press it against your body, it doesn't feel like it's as bulky and it doesn't lean out as far and I feel like it's less likely to sustain damage. Whether or not it actually would, that's a different matter. But I definitely feel out of all of these bags, this is the least crossbodyable, even though you can crossbody it. I have one at crossbody. It's just, it's not really designed for that. Whereas I feel like the My ABC Lady Dior is completely designed to be worn crossbody. The actual strap itself is a big feature of the My Lady Dior. And that's why you have either the badges on the previous versions or on the My ABC Lady Dior now, you have this uh, lovely little bit that you can add your initials onto. This bag fits so beautifully as a crossbody, but also looks really nice just carried by the top handle. I really do quite like this strap as well. As you can see, it just has some little adjusters at the end. And for the tiny amount of adjustment you can get there, I'm not sure how much is even really worth it. I don't know if you'd even call that an adjustable strap. The hardware on this is also ever so slightly different to all the other bags. It's slightly more angular. It's just not quite the same hardware as on the other bags, just in case you're looking at a bag you've bought second hand and wondering if it's genuine. And then when it comes to the mini, they don't even pretend that this one is adjustable, but the strap on this is again a beautiful feature that I really, really like. The strap on the Mini is actually a chain by comparison to all the other bags and it's again in the light gold hardware that all my bags have. All of these bags have light gold or champagne hardware, whichever you prefer to call it. But look at how beautiful the detailing is on this strap. It's a real feature and it makes this bag feel quite ornamental, a bit like jewellery. Between the strap and the beautiful charm, I really think the Mini is an absolutely stunning bag. One of the things that really makes me love the Lady Dior is the number of classic features. In particular, the obvious feature is this beautiful canage quilting on the bag. So this quilting supposedly comes from the original Christian Dior fashion shows back in 1947, when ladies would sit on the Napoleon III chairs and when they stood up, the wicker pattern would be imprinted on their clothes. And supposedly this is what gave Christian Dior his inspiration to invent this beautiful pattern, which Dior have apparently tried to acquire the rights to as their own pattern in the past. It's a really beautiful, intricate quilting. I prefer this even to the Chanel quilting. I think it is so incredibly beautiful. I don't think I've mentioned the colours of the bags. This is the black, this is the pearlescent grey, this is the denim blue, and this is the pearlescent lotus colour, or lotus colour, it's just a pearlescent pink. Uh, so those are the four colours. As I said, all the bags have light gold hardware or champagne gold, depending on what you like to call it. What other classic features did I want to mention? Oh yes, ovals. Ovals, again, are a classic feature of Dior. Uh, on this bag, you can see them in the back of the charm, in the O itself, ovals around here, ovals on the side, and particularly on this bag, you can see the oval on the pull tab of the zipper pull. Again, the oval supposedly come from the chairs at the Christian Dior fashion shows. So that's why they're a feature as well. Also, while I've got it up, this is the only bag that I have that has a zip closure. The other three have the more modern flap, which I'll show you properly in a second. So when I bought this, there wasn't an option of a flap, they just had the zip, and I would have gone for the zip anyway because it's the classic, I'm just like that. So the zip is beautiful and it gives a very secure opening and closure to the bag. In fact, so secure that you can't get to your own stuff, which is kind of annoying. To get inside, not only do you unzip it, but you have to then pull it open. 
when I first got it, <laughs> when I get a new bag it's a bit like a love affair. Even the bad bits I enjoy I think they're marvellous. Then after a couple of weeks or months reality sets in and you think no this is just really annoying and this zip is definitely that. Whilst you can see the top looks beautiful and I've worn this bag quite a bit, it hasn't worn and when you're constantly doing this with it you do worry that it's going to look quite weathered. But the thing I hate is that if you just quickly want to grab something it is a little bit scratchy. In fact, I've got to the point some days where I'm going in and out of it so much that I get red marks up my hand, but then again, I mark particularly easily. The really annoying thing though, <laughs> let's just keep going, is that when you put loads of stuff in the bag and have the zip closure, if you then want to get to stuff at the bottom, you often have to pull everything out to get to the item at the bottom, whereas these flaps are so functional and so easy, you can see absolutely everything. Inside there, Sorry, I've got the strap in there as well, but you can see the lovely fabric lining and it's got a zip compartment in there and this is made in Italy. I think all of these are made in Italy. Yes, they are. And uh, so that's what the inside is like. The inside of this one, the My ABC and the Mini are all fabric and then it crossfade inside my large. And I always like to know the little details like where the date codes are. So in most of the bags, for example the Mini, it's inside the internal pocket on a little leather tab. So it's embossed on that one but on my large it's actually printed onto a leather tab inside the pocket. Same goes for my, my ABC Lady Dior but look at that lining, beautiful. And on my medium it's in a slightly different location and actually the leather inside looks quite different but the date code on this one is behind this little leather tab which is attached to the zip so they're all slightly different inside and again this one is embossed but I love the little details. I did actually want the large originally with the zip closure for reasons we'll come to in a second but as you can see it's quite hard to get in there. The thing that's deceptive about the medium Lady Dior is how big it is. You can fit an awful lot inside here, but it's just really hard to find stuff, particularly if you put it to the bottom. And I distinctly remember being on a train and realising I needed something out of the bottom of this bag and dismantling everything that was inside it out on the table in front of me in order to get to the bottom, which is kind of annoying. The positive of the zip though is that because you have this layer of leather here, it actually holds the A-line structure of the bag that little bit better. And this is something I've seen on bags over time as they wear. So that has still got its beautiful A-line structure. And when I decided to go for my large Lady Dior, I noticed that the ones like this that have the flap, that they're slightly more rounded. They're a little bit softer in shape around the top. And that's probably because to get in and out of it, you can do this. And generally it may lose its shape a little bit more easily over time. The flap closure, some people are concerned that it's not as secure as the zip and it probably, well, it definitely isn't as secure as the zip, but it looks fairly secure, it looks closed, it's not open like a tote and it's fairly easy to use. I have actually scratched my, my, my flap. I don't think you can see where I've scratched it at all. I did some of my own repair work. I don't know what I scratched it with, but there was a big white line down the centre of it. So I filled it in with eyeliner. And it looks beautiful now. Can you even see where it was? Maybe I have a future in repairs. I certainly love watching repairs on YouTube. I find it really relaxing. I'm sure I'm not the only one. They have millions of views on those videos. There's something very therapeutic about them taking a really battered bag and making it look beautiful or battered shoes and making them look beautiful. Anyway, just get out of my way just for a second. You can't even see where I damaged it on top. I think I'll hold off setting up my own repair works until I have slightly better techniques. The flap is, is really good. It is a really good development on the Lady Dior. I think it was a really good move by Dior to put it in there. I think it makes the bag infinitely more usable. I can see absolutely all my stuff in there, particularly if I put a bag liner in and it doesn't look quite like a black hole. Again, the other difference with the large Lady Dior is you have a second pocket here. Um, it's just an open and shut flat pocket, unlike the others that just have the zip compartment, which you can see on this side. The reason that I also wanted the zip in the large, as much as I also wanted it to hold the shape at the top of the bag, is that the zip version had a contrast red fabric lining, which was so beautiful and I really wanted that. And I think it would have been easier to see my items, but I am very happy with the one that I've got. And I don't think I'd have used the zip bag anywhere near as much as I've used this, particularly if I'm putting tons and tons of stuff in it. Maybe if it had had the longer zip I'd have been able to see that a little bit more easily but this is so easy to use. The flap is brilliant. I really can't knock it. It's great.
there is one of the big reasons that I decided not to go for the large initially because the large has always been my favourite size to look at. But my big concern was look at how much leather you have there and how easy is that going to be to scratch and how easy is it going to be for this to look worn. It's been great. This is probably my most brutally used of all of these bags. I have used this one a fair amount, but I've always been very careful with it. My mini has fallen off the top of my shelves back here on more than one occasion, and it's still doing very, very well. And my, my ABC Lady Dior has all of this to come. I haven't really used it very much at the moment. So the wear and tear on these I think is fantastic. I find the lambskin much easier to manage than the Chanel lambskin. I don't worry about this at all. I do have a little cut on the corner on one of these, but it is absolutely minimal. And I think that's amazing for a couple of years use. The most common complaint I hear about the Lady Dior is scratching on the charm. And this is something that I have on absolutely all of my charms, even if my bag is relatively new. I think it's something you just have to accept and I hardly notice it. I think unless you're somebody who sits there and goes, ooh, which you do. When you spent this amount of money on a bag, you do just look and see how bad it is. I've seen people leave the plastic around the charms of these to stop the scratching, but I think they have to be a little bit used and loved. And it's not terrible, so this is my oldest one, so this should be terrible. Uh, it's got a little bit, but there's something about a little bit of wear on a bag that makes me feel like it's a little bit loved, so... Uh, I think it's not very obvious on the champagne or light gold hardware, I think that is a good move <laughs> for scratching. It might be a little bit more obvious on other colours of hardware, but certainly I have no problems whatsoever with mine. I know I've talked about this in previous videos, but I'm just going to briefly, briefly mention the history of the bag which is that it first came out in 1994 and it was kind of informally known as the Juju or Favourite. And then in 1995, Bernadette Chirac, who was first Lady of France, gifted one of these to Princess Diana. And Princess Diana absolutely loved the bag. Dior actually named it the Lady Dior in her honour, with her blessing. So that is where the name comes from. Depending on where you read, the Lady Dior is supposedly made up of anywhere between 130 and 144 different pieces. So we don't know exactly how many pieces, but it's a lot and it sounds like it's definitely over 100. Dior have videos of how different bags are made and you can watch how these bags are constructed around a wooden block. I'll link that down below. When you buy a Lady Dior, it comes in the beautiful white box with all the tissue paper and then it comes in a dust bag and all four of mine came in the beautiful dust bag with this swan on the front of it. And then the bag itself was in the box and also in the first two that I got, I also got a booklet showing how the bag is constructed, the same images that you actually see in the Dior video if you watch online. So the video online is just as good so you're not missing out if you don't get a booklet. I haven't heard of many people getting those booklets recently, so I'm not sure if that's something that's stopped, but as I said, you can watch the link down below and don't feel like you've missed out if that's the case. Uh, I don't know if I just didn't get them because I obviously didn't need one, or if that's something they've stopped doing, but I just thought that was a nice added touch when I picked these up. All I would say is if you're looking at getting one, they wear well, they're beautiful, they're classic, you can wear them at any age. There's something very timeless about them. The large is all round great practical. I would recommend this to absolutely everybody. I think it's stunning. The medium, if you are somebody who loves the classics, if you like knowing about the classic features, if you want to top handle it or crook of your arm it, this, this is beautiful. It, it's so stunning. If you're somebody though who mainly wants to crossbody, something a little bit edgy, a bit younger, uh, I would go for the, my ABC. Or if you want something unbearably cute with an amazing strap, evening bag, going out bag, wedding bag, this is absolutely perfect. Just kind of nipping out, need a tiny little bit of stuff with you. They're all beautiful. That's why I have all four. I love them all. I didn't buy them obviously specifically to do this video. I remember a few years ago when I watched Gossip Girl and Blair Waldorf carried two of these, I think, during the series really beautiful bags and I just think the thing about the large is that it's so intricate and beautiful and feminine that you can carry this in an evening but the size of it makes it practical for during the day it's just wonderful and I did have an anxiety at one point that they would stop making the large because it's certainly not popular on social media so I want everyone to buy one to make sure they keep selling them <laughs> so yeah that's my motive behind that one I have heard that they've discontinued the zip but if you look online they do have the amaranth which is that beautiful burgundy and there was another one or two that also had the zip still so I'm not sure if that is being discontinued if you are desperate to get a bag with a zip it's worth nipping into a boutique and checking if that's the case because it might be worth getting one sooner rather than later but I love this 
and I'm glad I got it but if I could go back in time I'd have definitely got the large first and I'd have bought this second. My My ABC Lady Dior I'm fairly new to so we'll see how this goes but I like the fact that if I want to wear this style but as a crossbody I have this option and I just love this colour. I think wearing bright colours is something not particularly natural to me but I really wanted a bag in this colour so when you put it on something as beautiful and delicate as the Lady Dior it makes it a really beautiful bag so I've been looking at getting a Chanel bag in light blue for ages but this one just looks so much nicer to me. So those are my bags today. If I were to buy another Lady Dior I'd definitely buy another large, definitely. I really liked it in the pink recently but I think I'd go for it in a burgundy just love the burgundy or a purple or something along those lines something contrasting to the one that I've got I'd also really love another mini because I think they're so adorable so yeah those are my bags today hope you found this video useful if there's anything you want to know if there's any questions I haven't answered please let me know in the comments down below and I'll see you guys in my next one bye <laughs>